everyone welcome to my channel my name is Gracie Papio so today's video will be talking about my skin so my skin journey I do have clear skin now but last year my skin was at the worst uh, it all started with tiny bumps on on my skin on my forehead and here on my cheeks as well then it spread all over my face so um, I do have polycystic ovaries, so this does not help my skin at all. Signs and symptoms of um, polycystic ovaries, or PCOS as they call it, is uh, irregular period, excess and androgen, which causes excess facial hair and body hair, and severe acne in some cases. Now, I did, uh, when I was uh, in the Philippines, I did have occasional pimples, but last year was really the worst. Oh. Um, that my skin uh, had got it um, so it was really alarming for me especially I am in the you know I'm into beauty um, I like makeup I like collecting makeup I like applying makeup on my skin so um, it was really not helpful for me because at that time as well I was also uh, trying to enroll in a makeup school so my skin was not at a perfect condition um, so I was really devastated um, so I was really conscious with how my skin looks like um, I was getting depressed a little bit and I tell my husband you know that you look at the mirror and you feel ugly you feel ugly because um, this is not how you normally look like I mean uh, I, I yes I do have pimples every now and then but it was it was too much for me to handle um, so uh, I tell my husband that I really look ugly and that's my husband's heart He would tell me that I'm still beautiful even though my skin is looking like that huh? um, So he was reassuring me um, You know that I still look beautiful in his eyes, but Inside I was really broken. I, mean, I know it's just skin. It's just pimples, but uh, Personally, I do struggle with my confidence people Can, can be sometimes uh, you know tactless um, would ask me like, oh, I mean, questions like that um, really hits um, my confidence. Like their their faces of dismay of what happened to me and what happened to my skin. So I was really conscious. Um, I don't like I don't like going out. I I refrain from taking photos. Um, so because I really feel ugly. I was. You know, alam ko skin lang siya. I mean, like yes, pimples lang siya. Pinigdadaan siya ng mga tao, but it was really breaking me. Up. Sometimes I would wear makeup just so to cover up um, some of the pimples and some of the scars on my skin. And maybe it's my skincare. Um, so I tried using Korean skincare. I watch YouTube and and they say this. They use this and that, so I, I I did the multiple steps of the Korean skincare and it didn't work on me even though I use multiple products like what they have suggested. I finally visited a dermatologist so that you know I can figure out what to do with my skin and they could they, I could have a professional advice. So the dermatologist told, uh, given me an antibiotic to take or to drink and then um, he has also given me um, well, my first dermatologist is a male. My second dermatologist is a female. So, anyway, back to the story. So, the dermatologist gave me an uh, antibiotic and then uh, he also gave me two gels. One I can use, one I need to use in the morning and the other one is I, I need to use at night. Um, and that I, had, I need to spread that all over my skin. And it did nothing on my skin. I mean, my skin was still rough. Um, so I went back to the dermatologist this time it's a female dermatologist so she told me that I can take um, isotretinoin it's more known as acetine but it's called it's called isotretinoin huh? <laughs> it's really hard to pronounce but yeah so she uh, told me that I can take isotretin isotretinoin she warned me against the side effects and advised me that I cannot get pregnant during the treatment and the treatment would last six months and then after that i think she told me that one year i cannot i cannot have babies because it has a serious severe birth defects for babies 
so she also had me sign a waiver that I will not get pregnant during the treatment days and that she have advised me of the uh, side effects that she, she warned me as well about the um, dryness of the skin and uh, I also researched on my own was what are the side effects of isotretinoin and had to weigh in my option I was actually torn because uh, I wanted to have a baby by 2019 um, and my parents also wanted me to have you know they want they want a grandchild um, and and it was it was a difficult decision I didn't really ask my husband about it but um, I feel like I needed to boost my confidence and boost my self-esteem so I chose uh, to take the medicine and hold off on the baby. I decided to take the plunge and get it over with. Um, side effects of taking isotretinoin are dry lips, crusty skin, upset stomach, thinning of hair, skin will be sensitive to the sun. So I did all my research on that. Um, it also causes depression in severe cases, aggressive or violent behavior, um, tingling feeling in the skin, back joint or muscle pain. Uh, painful swallowing, sore throat, etc. So you do your own research. Prior to taking the medicine, the doctor will need to check your lipid profile. Um, she also had my CBC taken and they will have to check my cholesterol. If my cholesterol is high, then I cannot take the medicine. I have to control my cholesterol and then um, I can then I can take the medicine. So my cholesterol was slightly elevated but it was okay to, for me to check or take the medicine so I still took the medicine around December 1st I was lucky enough to have my insurance cover my medical expenses especially I mean I was actually surprised I work in an insurance industry and the treatment the consultation fee was covered by the insurance so up that is only up until the fifth month of my treatment long story short on the fifth month of my treatment I had to pay from my own pocket so the consultant's consultation fee is 400 dirhams or the doctor's fee is 400 dirhams the medicine the one box of medicine which includes i think 30 pills is uh, around 99 dirhams less than 100 dirhams and then i will also have to take a lipid profile test which is around 100 something maybe around 150. um so my skin on the fifth month is already clear so the doctor told me that if my skin is okay then i won't have to proceed with a, another treatment or another um, month or i don't really need to 
I don't really have to complete the six months treatment if my skin is actually okay on the fifth month and my skin was actually okay on the fifth month um, so I didn't uh, go back to the doctor because the, the medical fees is really it's really high so um, but now my skin is back to being oily um, but I don't have any pimples yeah so my skin is actually clear I do have pimple scars um, here especially on my cheeks so that is it for my skin uh, journey. My, I'm happy with my skin right now, but I hope that this is helpful to anyone out there who has the same condition as mine. Um, bear in mind, you have to make your own informed decision. You have to do your research. Thank you for watching my video. Um, I'll see you. I hopefully I'll see you again on my next one. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys. Thank you girls. Bye.